This is another Thunderbird. He's bending his head down as if eating something. This is his massive arms and claws holding whatever he's eating. And what he is eating is a snake. Very powerful image, part of the Thunderbird legend. I guess I like the idea of the uh, the eagle or the Thunderbird winning over the snake. But as I've looked at this really close, I see that there is pecked out here on the front the snake has its mouth open and is latched onto the eagle's claw or possibly wing. So the battle continues. Student, do you wish to write a poem? Yes, teacher. What words would you use? My own, teacher. Could they be words used 10,000 years ago? But of course. Then are they your own? I made them my own by claiming them. Is the light that you see yours only by claiming? How else can I say they are me? Why would you want to? I have to. I brought the salt today. Long ago, a large stone hit the earth and dim the sun for a thousand years. The great ice mountain melted and fled over the land. Only the Thunderbird survived. tried to save the horse, the bison, the great elephants, but he could just take their spirits to the high mountain. And after a thousand years, Mother Earth gave us back the bounty, gave us back the life with one request. Please take care of it.